Brooke, Fish, we are going to be taking a look at those costumes. Brooke, you and I, we, we always talk about how beautiful the costumes can be for some of these performances, so I'm very excited to show you guys that here in a little bit. Thanks, Emily. Oh, I can't wait to see that. They are so beautiful. When we were talking about like going to some of these other shows and just the makeup and the glitter and everything, it's just beautiful. Think they'll be wearing ponchos? <laughs> oh, she said it before. I didn't know there's like a like fall, a... like sweater-like poncho, not a rain poncho. You need to look this up. Your wife would be really disappointed in you right now. They're both called ponchos Guarantee to me. Guarantee she has a poncho. <laughs> Probably. All right. So speaking of ice. Look at this, freeze warning for a lot of the area except for Door County and not our northern counties because the northern counties here, you've already seen a hard freeze already. So this late tonight, Door, you might see some patchy frost by you, but you know that that growing season coming to an end around here. Now behind this low pressure, we had a cold front come through yesterday. It was last night and boy, it is much colder and it's blustery out there. This is what I'm talking about. Green Bay, it's 45, but look at the wind. 20 miles per hour with higher gusts. So be ready for a big change when you step outside this morning. Here's a look at precipitation around the state and we're quiet. We're going to have a dry day today. Skycast showing that it's trying to show a lot more sunshine, but I think clouds are going to kind of win the battle today. We're going to keep it dry tonight as well. If you have any plans outdoors, it's still going to be breezy though. We're actually going to be below our average high for once around here. Nothing even close to a record high. And yesterday, you know, it was pretty mild in a lot of spots with that warm front lifting north. It was close to 70, but look what's on the way. There are the mid 40s for us. So get ready for a big change when you step out the door. It's only 41 now. Appleton, Clintonville, 41 in Mountain. And as far as wind chills are concerned, yes, I have to show it. It's the first time I'm showing it all year. It feels like the freezing mark in Appleton, in Clintonville, and 35 in Oshkosh. So dress accordingly. There's a big difference. Humidity is gone. This is probably one of the last times I'm going to show this dew point map for the year. And as far as skycast is concerned, again, we're going to have a dry day. A couple lake effect snow showers way, way up north in the UP. Going through the night tonight, also keeping things dry around here. Still going to be breezy, but tomorrow still dry with less wind. Tomorrow should be a nicer day than today, even though it will be cooler. So windy and much colder than it has been today. 46 degrees. For tonight, dropping below freezing in a lot of spots, decreasing clouds, 30 degrees. Door County, you might be just a little bit milder, but still for all of us, it's going to be a cold night. For tomorrow, only 44, but we're going to have less wind and it's not going to be raining. So most of the weekend looking okay. There's going to be a slight chance of a little rain on Saturday night. It gets pretty windy on Sunday and for the Packer game, as of right now, it's actually looking dry for the most part. I'll have that forecast for that coming up, but otherwise, Brooke, we've turned the corner now to fall for the time being, so I guess enjoy it. Yeah, sure. All right.